to start with the great name of Almighty Allah who is most merciful and most beneficial my family teacher and my dear brothers and sisters Assalamu Alaikum First of all I introduce myself myself Mr. Balhoro from Class 8 and today my presentation topic is the movement of the earth as you know that the earth has two type of the motions namely rotation and revolution now the question is that the what is rotation and revolution rotation the movement of the earth around its, its axis is called on its axis is called rotation and revolution revolution the movement of the earth around the sun is called on a fixed path or orbit is called revolution the axis of the earth which is an imaginary which is an imaginary line makes an angle of 66 1 upon 2 degree on its orbital plane now a question is that, that what is orbital plane the plane formed by its orbit is known as the orbital plane as you know the earth receive light from the sun now uh, due to the spherical shape of the earth then only half of the earth get light from the sun at a time now the portion which the portion which passing the light of the sun the portion passing the sun light experiences day while the other half experiences night during this process the day and night happen thanks and my name is Sitara today my presentation topic is the day and night the portion facing the sun experience by that day by that day and the other half other half while sun experience called the night this uh, this circle divide divide from day and night and the axis does not coincide with uh, this circle does not coincide with axis uh, as you see the as you see this picture the earth takes 24 hour complete one rotation uh, this rotation called the day my topic is summer solstice. Uh, on 21st June, the uh, uh, southern hemisphere is tilted on the uh, on the sun. Uh, uh, the rays of the sun is directly uh, directly fall on the earth. Uh, as a result of these areas, are uh, receive more heat. This, in this situation, the uh, days are longer than the nights. Uh, this position of the earth is called summer solstice. So on 22 December, the tropic of Capricorn is tilted on the sun. The, uh, the rays of the, the rays of the sun is directly visual uh, on uh, earth. In this situation, the nights are longer than the days. Uh, this position of the earth is called winter solstice. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Arisha. Today, my topic is revolution. Revolution, uh, uh, the earth uh, revolve around the sun is called revolution. It, uh, uh, the earth revolve here to their path, complete their path called revolution. They complete their uh, revolution in uh, one year. We ignore six hours and uh, convince we, uh, we saved uh, six hours for uh, every fourth year. Every fourth year, uh, we instead one day in uh, February, in uh, February month in 29 days, in 28 days. Such a year called leap year. We know that the earth is a revolve, uh, earth is revolved in a elliptical orbit. For its orbit uh, in the same direction. Uh, through this season are change, uh, seasons are changed. Uh, summer, winter, autumn, spring. Uh, through the revolution, uh, or, uh, Earth is revolved around the sun through this the season are changed. Thank you. Today our presentation topic is equinox. On 21st March, on 21st March and September 23rd, direct rays of the sun uh, fall on the equator. At this position, neither of the pole, neither of the pole is tilted uh, toward the sun. So, uh, so the whole earth experiences. Uh, Equal day and night, this is called equivalence.